So before I start, I would just like to say I'm sorry for any names I miss say. I mean no disrespect. So in my Native American class, we were watching the movie Antanaja, the Fast Runner. Antanaja means the Fast Runner, so really I just said the Fast Runner, the Fast Runner. The Fast Runner is a movie based off a of more than a thousand year old Inuit legend that was never written down until this movie. To get it right, what they did was they had five different Inuit elders from different tribes, and they all had them tell them the story. They took those five stories and they combined them together to make this movie. This movie actually goes through two generations of a small Inuit tribe. Now, in the beginning of the movie, it's really dark, so I'll explain what goes on. In the beginning, there's challenges going on. Now, challenges are between two men. It could be one of many things that can happen. It could be a fish hook competition, where two men fish hook each other until one gives up. There could be a thing where they go back and forth and punch one another until one is knocked out. Or there could be this crazy, uh, I don't really understand, toe competition where their toes are tied together or something like that. So what happened is a shaman comes into the tribe and him and Sari kill Sari's father, Kumarak, who is the tribe's leader. And then they name Sari the new tribe's leader, which puts evil into Sari's heart, which later is passed on to his children. Another thing to tell you about the Inuits is they believe in reincarnation. So much so that if you name your child after the grandmother that passed away, then your child is that grandma that you had. Uh, there is one of the older ones that calls one of the younger people little mother. She's named after her actual mother and she sees her as her actual mother. And they actually have a conversation. It's like, oh, did you love me? Yes, I loved you. You were my mother. Name the child unless the child lives for six months to make sure that it will survive. There's actually a whole spiritual part to this movie that is really cool. Okay, boom! Years later, and now the second generation's there. Uh, Akanaja and his older brother and Kunagra are now grown up. But also, the evil children of Sari, Oki, and, P and Punja are also grown up too. I'm not going to tell you any more of the story just in case you want to see it. But I will tell you there's love, sex, violence, betrayal. Oh yeah, the badassery. Such as... Akin Atanaja is running away from Oki and his boys across the ice for miles. How long? This long. That makes me child just looking at that. Oh yeah, by the way, he did it naked. What also makes this movie great is that the writing, the directing, the starring, the producing is all Inuits. The first movie, all Inuit actors, all Inuit writers, all Inuit producers. And even everything in the movie, the tools, the clothing, igloos, everything, authentically made the old-fashioned way. I thought this movie was great. It kept me wondering what was going to happen next. I could see why this was a legend that went on for so long. It does teach you a lot at the end. This movie is on Netflix if you would like to rent it. It's actually under the Fast Runner. Or you probably type in Enchinage. I never actually tried that. But the Fast Runner will work. Also, uh, give you a little warning here now. The movie is uh, 172 minutes, which is just under three hours. Just a little heads up there. It's also completely subtitles. Yep, I mean, it's all reading. I, for one, hate reading, but I still enjoyed the movie. So people that like reading, whew, you're going to love it even more than I did. This has been The Hence Review. Also, if you missed any of my other videos, here they are right here. And here. Hope you enjoy. Also... Here's a link to Five Things with Sean Martin. I think you, anyone that watches this would enjoy that a thousandfold. This next thing's going to be on horror. That's right, horror. Think about think how awesome horror will be.